Hey guys, it's the Aussie Gamer here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can unlock the Citroen DS23. So, let's get into it. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for more Forza news and gameplay, then make sure you do. If you have subbed, you are awesome, and if you haven't, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Righty, we are in the Series 35 winter season in May 2021, and the vehicle we are winning today is obtainable via 50% completion of this season. And today, as I said, this is the Citroen DS23, so quite a unique car. I'm guessing not that many will probably find this an exciting vehicle to use, but yeah, it's got quite a cool history. What I'm going to do is showcase what I did to get to 50%, which actually wasn't too difficult. The first one is the photo challenge called Ford Crossing. All you need to do is take a photo of a Ford at the Derwent Water. Currently, it is frozen over so you can drive on it. And yeah, once you do that, you'll get this challenge completed. The next is the weekly Ford's Fawn challenge called Tough as Old Boots. This is with the 1972 Land Rover Series 3. And for this, you need to complete 20 wreckage skills, the Ambleside Cross Country Race, and go for a 15 mile drive. Once you get these, you've got this challenge done. I actually haven't done a Ford's Fond Daily Challenge this time, basically because I didn't need to do it to get to 50%. I'll showcase what I did later that got me there. So these ones are the PR stunts that I did. This is the M68 Speed Trap, basically on the highway. Just get something like a hypercar and you'll breeze by the target. And the next one is the Royal Terrace Speed Zone. So near Edinburgh. And yeah, just go around there as fast as you can in something really quick like a hypercar and you'll get it done. Now, when it comes to seasonal championships, I didn't actually complete any because I didn't need to. But what I did do was the monthly rivals and the online adventure. Now, I actually didn't complete any seasonal championships because I didn't need to. So what I did was the monthly rivals and the online adventure. This got me past 50% and was easy. So this monthly rivals is with the Jeep Gladiator at the rail yard cross country circuit. Just bang out a 50 second lap with a slow player. Make sure it's a clean one and you'll get this done. The next one is the online adventure. You can do a ranked adventure with players going against or just by yourself. I did one personally by myself and yeah, I got this done. It took around five races, which is shorter than the other seasonal championships as a whole, and is a great percentage. Alrighty, well that is what I have completed to get to 50%. Let's have a look at the Citroen DS23. Alrighty, and here we are with a vehicle that I'm quite surprised that has come into the game. It is an absolute classic of a vehicle. It looks so futuristic back in the day, and there's quite a few party pieces with this. So let's open this thing up and we can see the boot space, also just the space overall in the back seats, the front seats, and we've got this little four cylinder engine up the front. So if I recall, this is only a 2.3 liter four cylinder. I may be wrong about the displacement slightly, uh, also, I think this pushes around 105 kilowatts, which is that amount in horsepower. So yeah, she's not the fastest. There's also multiple versions where you could have either a three-speed auto or a five-speed manual. I'm guessing this is the three-speed auto. One thing that is absolutely awesome about this is that it has something called hydro pneumatic suspension. So it is hydraulically controlled throughout the car with other components and absolutely rides perfect. So it takes corners like a champ, even though it probably isn't the best performance vehicle, and rides so smoothly. Now in the game, obviously you're not gonna feel it because it's not a real car, but you can get a taster for how it might drive in real life. So getting into the driver's seat, we can see this interior. Yeah, from what it looks like, I think this is the auto variant, but anyway, let's start this thing up and hear what it sounds like. Okay, so this actually sounds quite raspy. Now, I don't expect it to be really fast on the road, but it revs up quite quickly. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't mind the sound of it for a vehicle like this. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is before going out on the road, see if it has any cool visual mods. Let's go to our custom upgrades. I'm really hoping there is something good. Oh, no, it looks like it's only Forza Aero, which is a little bit of a bummer. 
I was kind of hoping for some sort of stylish roof rack, but obviously it's not here. Well, there you go. You've got all your typical other upgrades. I'm not going to go through them. What I'm going to do now is take this thing for a spin. Alrighty, so here we are out in the winter, which is a little bit of a bummer. Usually for supercars and stuff, it's not that fun, but since we're in something not that fast, it's not going to be as big of an issue. Okay, so turning left, I'm going to go into Edinburgh. I don't usually do this. Um, also, I am flat, and that Pagani just left me in the dust. Anyway, yeah, this thing is not quick, and I also may know why about this. I just found out I was wrong about the power output. I thought it was 105 kilowatt, but this is an earlier model, so it only pushes out 85. So yeah, she is a little down on power compared to what I thought. Oh, come on, pass the Formula Drift car. Yes, finally, <laughs> we're up to 150. Um, yeah, this isn't really performance orientated. Uh, also, this thing doesn't break very well, but understandable. Now, I'm not going to be upgrading the vehicle in this video, basically because it's purely just how to unlock, but I can tell you that this thing, when upgraded, is actually quite OP, which is surprising. Oh, come on, bang into second gear. Third gear. Wait a sec. Oh, this is something very weird. From what I know, as I said, there are uh, variants where you've got an auto that is three speeds, and a manual that is five. This has a fourth gear. I don't know if this is incorrect or there is another variant I don't know about, but yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's different. Oh uh, yeah, this thing isn't exactly the fastest. It doesn't really like going up hills. Um, so yeah, that's how lower output this has. Oh, up to 6,000 RPM, come on. <laughs> oh, this thing is trying its best, that's okay. Now, if you are late to unlocking this and you do want it, don't fret, there are also other ways you can obtain it. First off is through the auction house, it'll probably be back also in the coming months through the festival playlist, so there are um, multiple ways you should be able to obtain it. Alrighty guys, well I'm going to end this video here, thank you for watching, if you want to see more from me then make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.